Good evening, folks. This is Lalit. I'm the product manager with Dell Technologies, trying to build up the edge solutions for the energy vertical, currently focused on the utilities itself. So let me take you about what exactly I'm going to talk about over here. So this is just a snapshot that I'm trying to give you over here about what an utility looks like or a substation looks like. You might have been driven through a road and you might have seen a building something similar to this. So this is a substation which is an outdoor substation and onto the left hand side you'll see a house. That's where the control house is. And that's the house where all the information that comes from the assets that are outside the substation are gathered inside. Typically what we have seen over here is the utilities substations or the utilities in general are the most neglected segment in anywhere in any industry you go for. So there are lots of challenges associated with that. And some of the biggest challenges are an aging infrastructure. So obviously no one has even cared for it. So that's the biggest part of it. So as soon as you talk of aging infrastructure and try to say, oh, let me try to upgrade about it. Immediately the next question comes about is security. So security is going to be another concern that you have. And obviously when you have an aging infrastructure, the third most important thing is, do we really know when the equipment is going to fail? Pretty much no. And so the asset insight is the other thing, or the data insight is the other thing that is an issue. And these are the top three challenges that the utilities are facing. So what we do over here is, Dell in partnership with Intel and VMware, got an alliance made up together called as the VPAC Alliance or the Virtual Protection Automation and Control Alliance. And we have got a lot of OT vendors over here in this space who also work together. What we decided was, let's bring something to the marketplace which will be modern, which will help the utilities to cash on to it and move seamlessly into their modernization phase. And that was the main goal of VPAC that we say. So if, as you see that the OT vendors are pretty much segmented and these OT guys are pretty much strong in their own domain. So as an example for OT vendors, just in case, if you guys want to know about in North America, it will be Schweizer, Elect Schweizer. then we have GE, ABB, Siemens the, and Schneider Electric. These are the main top OT vendors that we have in this space. So we say, okay, let's tie up with them and see how best we can build up a platform. And the platform over here was built with the intent it's not just one application that would be running on. There will be multiple things that will be running on in this particular scenario. And that's where the virtualization has come into picture. So what would be the primary benefits of the WePack per se? As I said, multiple application hosting on a single hardware. That would be the biggest thing that the utilities can take forward. Why? Because if you go today, pretty much every application has a dedicated hardware that they use. And that hardware just runs that particular application. So you might have three or four different hardwares running different applications. Virtualization will enable these multiple workloads to be running on a single hardware. That's the biggest strength that you're going to get because of that. Maintenance becomes very easy. Patching up becomes very easy. So all other things associated with managing that particular asset becomes quite easy and quite smoothful, okay? And when we talk about modernization, I do not know if you guys ever heard about IEC 61850. So IEC 61850 is one particular uh, industry protocol that they have developed or standard that they have developed that enables to have that latency that was a challenge before. And what we did now was, if you have the sampled values coming in as data streams from your downstream, devices or assets per se, which, which I can say. And you might say, okay, Lalit says that, well, we should put everything in one basket. It's basically putting all the eggs in one basket. Obvious question would be, what about redundancy then? So that's why we can have redundancy built into it and that's where the PRP protocol comes into picture. So with virtualization, obviously you will get redundancy also, which is a part of the VPAC scenario itself. And you now have any challenges that you want to mitigate with multiple applications hosted on that. So from the substation of the future, as I told you about, it would be the hardware, which is the industrial hardened XR12 in this case that we have from Dell. Along with that, we'll have the VMware stack of ESXi, or we call it as the edge compute stack. And along with that, running on the Intel segment becomes the main backbone of the VPAC Alliance. On top of that, we will have multiple workloads running on it. What I did now over here, and that's the solution that Dell has launched on is, we said, 
Well, if you talk about virtualization for protection, will you really take it today? The answer is probably not. So we say, well, how do we tackle what is there today? Currently, we all know that there is data that needs to be aggregated or collected from the various devices and sent to the control room. So that's what we are going to do with data aggregation. And over here, we got in with ABB as an example for doing data aggregation and substation automation. Second thing was, as you guys know about cybersecurity, every OT vendor that you guys go to today, they are pretty much good in their field, which is protection. When I say protection, is relay protection, okay? So let's say Schweizer or G for that matter. But there are industries or there are companies which are dedicated only for cybersecurity. They can sniff the devices down south and they can understand what are the threats that those devices are coming up with. And this is what we now came up with to say that, hey, we are going to have one more workload of cybersecurity that will run on the same hardware. And that does the job of sniffing down the devices which are down south of your data aggregator. And so now you have multiple workloads running on one hardware. You might say, well, in my case, I don't need that. Well, you could have put the cybersecurity software on a separate hardware, but now you have two hardwares with you. One which would have done your substation automation and data aggregation, and the second one would be for cybersecurity. Now you have both of them running on one, so you manage with one hardware only. And again, as I said, if you ever think about that, oh, what about redundancy? You can always have high availability as an architecture on top of that. So basically, as I said before also on virtualization, what you get with virtualization is basically reducing your operation and maintenance cost. And then when you talk about Dell per se, what they are trying to do is they are trying to use the native edge where all the applications will be orchestrated by them. So you have a zero trust approach, which means to say that you just buy the hardware, you can select the various softwares that you want and everything will be done seamlessly from the one common center of application. And that's what will be the future for the utility applications too. We have already rolled it out for the manufacturing vertical and the retail vertical, but the same concept will be applicable for the energy vertical. And the reason, as I said, was utilities are pretty bit fussy. So if you go and try to sell them, hey, use this hardware, they would pretty much say no. They would like to have it based on certain standards. And for example, it's 61850-3 is one of the compliance standards that they say the hardware should meet. And so this is where XR12 is the hardware that meets this particular requirement of yours. This is just an example I wanted to show you all over here is on one particular server, you could either run just the ABB or it could be any other vendors, data aggregation and substation automation, or you could just run your cybersecurity, or you could run both of them, both workloads on one particular hardware. And that's not all, it's a standalone application. In case you wanted high availability, you would have got high availability also. So when you ask this question, okay, this was a solution that Dell already gave up on now as a release product, basically. But what all is Dell involved into, as you see, all the way from generation to distribution to transmission, Dell has a solution for all you guys. And Dell is actively working with multiple utilities on various solutions. So if you ever feel that, hey, you need to have more, please reach out to any one of us and we will be glad to help you out to understand how Dell can help you guys to modernize your grid and look at it from the future to say that how do you transition to the future? Because having said everything is fine, but with the renewables coming into picture, you might see that the grid is going to be challenged about how best you can capitalize on and make the grid more efficient and reliable. And that's where from centralized approach, it is definitely going to come down to a decentralized approach. And virtualization is going to be a reality. Maybe you might say that maybe not today, but eventually it is going to happen. And that's what I believe in. So just, I, I always talk about it as a uh, final conclusion. When the multifunction relay was first brought into the marketplace, the utilities didn't want to use it. It took them about five years to have the multiple functions in within one relay to be as an acceptable norm. So same thing is going to happen with virtualization and it's just going to come that way. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'm available over here or please do visit us at the Dell booth just in the hall and we'll be glad to support you guys with any questions or clarifications that you might need. Thanks a lot.